Today, let's analyze wide gap rebar welding, which can be seen everywhere on construction sites. So how do we deal with this kind of wide gap? Let's break it down in detail. On site, you'll often encounter this situation. Look closely. This type of gap is so wide that you can fit three electrodes into it. That's exactly what we call a wide rebar gap weld. If you can't handle welding this kind of gap, it means you're still just a beginner. So today, let's talk about how to weld it properly. For wide gap welding, we usually divide it into two main methods. One, continuous arc. Welding, use a continuous arc for the operation. This method gives higher speed and efficiency. Two, intermittent arc slash spot. Welding for extra wide gaps. Use a stop and go spot welding technique. Weld from bottom to top during operation. No more talking, let's go straight to the weld pool. I'll explain as I weld. During welding, you need to distinguish between the molten pool, slag, and flux coating. Molten metal shines bright. Flux coating looks dark. The first welding method uses a crescent-shaped motion, like a half moon. Intentionally carry the arc slightly to both sides. When the temperature gets too high, adjust accordingly. This crescent continuous arc welding is fast and highly efficient. This is the first electrode technique. Efficient and fast wide gap welding, strong molten fusion. If you're watching up to here, tap the heart button to support the host. The first method is continuous arc welding, using the crescent weaving motion for operation. The second method is intermittent arc spot welding. In spot welding, the main pattern is also the crescent motion. With high current, we use spot welding. With low current, we can only use continuous arc welding. For spot welding, strike the arc on the left side and move toward the right. Strike the arc on the right side and move toward the left. Key points. Precise arc starts. Quick crater filling. Fast welding. If you're still here, brothers, tap the heart to show support. So, for wide gap rebar welding, the second method is spot welding. After welding, let's check the final weld bead. Spot welding effectively controls overheating. And when you look at the finished weld like this, who could say you're not a skilled welder? If you've learned something, double tap and follow for more. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the support, Weldmaster India.